Hey there, Leos. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. I'm um, in a hotel, so my setup's not exactly here. And I just have my tarot, and um, we can clarify with the Osho's and tarot. So that's what we're going to use tonight for a general Celtic cross, hopefully, for the next 48 hours that will give us some advice for our Leos. Leos, what's the situation? What's the situation for Leos? This could be regarding a child, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or gathering new information, gathering information that maybe was not, um, we didn't have any, you know, easily accessed. Gossip, um, word of mouth gossip, information though, a lot of facts information okay what's the challenge what's the challenge here with the page of swords what's the challenge leo's king of swords maybe dealing with authority issues or or like needing like a challenge is needing to find somebody to help you that is like an expertise in their field that could be represented by the King of Swords. This could be like an expert. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius again. The root of it all, or at the base of it, is unclear or poor judgment. Unclear or poor judgment. That's, that's like what I'm gonna go with here. Unclear or poor judgment, okay. So, okay, loud and clear, Leo. Past position, the Eight of Swords in the reverse. This is um, coming out of, of being stuck. But we can look at this in a few different ways, okay? Sometimes being stuck uh, by viewing our duties or what we think we are supposed to do, how we're supposed to act, the roles that we play. Um, could have been feeling trapped like that by something that's actually imaginary, just um, words, ideas, that's all they are. But this is coming out of that energy. So it's like seeing a way, it's seeing a light in an otherwise dark time, seeing the light. It's like the fight is was mostly internal when, when you see this eight of swords here uh, in the reverse. It's like it was mostly internal, a mind thing. And present energy. What is the present energy here for Leo's? Leo, he's got some serious um, messages here. Like, I mean, they're not bad. Uh, there's just, it's like something's giving you more information. You're going to need to get more information, possibly, with this King of Swords energy. Because something you need to get back control over, you need to get control over something in your life. That Look, maybe you feel like something's out of balance or out of whack. Because we have the Ten of Wands leaving you not only exhausted, but uh, off balance. And either this energy is your energy or somebody else's, but it's an energy of someone else doing like more work than the other person. It's one person giving more than the other person's receiving and excuses made and, and just all that kind of nastiness. I don't know. I'm not feeling good or comfortable with this Ten of Wands because I'm feeling like Leo needs to shift before this comes a problem and lighten the load and the, and then the sense of getting somebody to help i really do feel like getting somebody to help the near future energy for leo near future energy for leo for the next 48 hours oh my gosh guys seriously oh a wish granted no more arguing no more arguing no more people throwing their batons in the air. Mm. 
this is what the wish is about. It's about the peace. It's about continuing the peace in a peaceful manner. Moving forward in a peaceful manner, letting go the hurt and the pain, th the pain and the things that um, were taking up space when we could have used that void for something good. How does Leo feel? You feel more detached from something than you thought you would. Or you realize how detached you've become. It's almost like that could be an epiphany. It's like, okay, yeah, I've got to move away from this to in order to get my ninth cup. And you get it. So whatever you walk away from going to find your passion, this could be metaphorically or just really letting go of the extra burden here that you are carrying a wish is granted a wish is granted all you have to do is leave something behind detach something from something that wasn't good wasn't good for you whoa <laughs> yay ace of pentacles guys <laughs> there's so much you did it you did a lot you did a lot on your own and without even the proper cheers and things like that i'm putting this back though because we're still doing your reading <laughs> i'm not done yet leos one by one please <laughs> um what is the card that represents the environment around you really after <sighs> i have to look at it I have to at least look at it. Situation around you. <clears throat> You're keeping something really close to you. Working on build, rebuilding your power. Something really hurt. Maybe news or something somebody did really hurt. Maybe it was what you did. This, this energy here, it can be give or take, but it's like going back to fix this. That's the energy of the six of swords in the reverse because it's going back to something you left, right? A new start, brand new beginning in your surrounding, which I'm gonna put that for the surrounding is this full. I'm gonna put these back so we can get them. But I have strength in the reverse and seven of pentacles. Yeah, well, people were growing impatient with you, Leo. And you might've been growing impatient with yourself. I even almost said as a lion, impatient with you as a lion. Maybe just doing your lion things. Who knows? But this is about a brand new beginning. Hopes and fears. King of Pentacles. I love that. All right, so you may own a business. You, have, you hold the scepter of power when it comes to something financial or business oriented. And this is extremely good. All of my you know, watchers out there that are business people, legal and legal work. This is a, like a fortunate time because it's what you're manifesting. It's coming across as what you're manifesting. And this can also be choice for Capricorn. This could be a married man. For some, not all. That could be like a, a, a fear if somebody's married. And that's not everybody at all. That's just, it could be a, you know, one person, maybe. So we had Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries. Let's see if the outcome is. What is the outcome? Look, the sun is shining on your new start. Leo, <laughs> like, it was sudden, it was abrupt, it was a hard time, whatever you went through, it was hard, it was not easy, because uh, underlying it all, you went through the biggest tower moment, probably of your life, the full, the sun, 
This is surrounding you, this full new energy. Take a leap of faith. The sun is illuminating things that you need to know. Okay, so that's what I have for you all. Um, I'm going to do an Osho Zen Tarot just right here at the end, just to pull something, maybe one final message from Spirit. Ace of Swords, consciousness, conscious, conscious now of what is um, right and what is wrong. Consciously aware of that now. Cannot say that there's anything stopping you from knowing what you're supposed to do and what you're not. And that spirit saying, you know what to do. You know what you're supposed to do. That's that's the message. You know what to do. And then we have integration. So integrate. To integrate your, um, you know, your shadow, your light, integrate and get ready because this um, final piece on this completion is here. It is here for you. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. That's your truth after a tough battle. This is winning the race, not just winning it for yourself, but completing something that, that brings, ushers in a new chapter into your life, okay? Something really great bottom of the deck king of pentacles again this could be a family person but this is also family and business associated with family doing so well i even feel like it might be the tower like it's that good guys it's that good all right so thanks guys sending you light and love Bye bye